Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this demo, we are going to use embedding models provided by Azure OpenAI, which we created in our earlier video to vectorize text. Then we are going to store inside Azure AI search and then we are going to integrate with Azure OpenAI Studio and we are going to chat with that data into chat playground. Before we go to demo, a humble request to all of you that if you like this content and channel and videos on Azure, please provide comments, share, subscribe and refer this channel to your friends and colleagues. That will greatly help us to reach more people. So let's go to this storage account where we will upload our sample data sets. In sample PDF, we have few PDF where role libraries and other thing is given for a given company, which company we have used previously also in demo. So that roles description of that one, what are the different role present by in that company, and then employee handbooks and other things present. So we can see all these details, and then help plan for that company which offers to their employees. So that all the details are present into that PDF documents, and that we have used into another video where we use this document for semantic search. Now we are going to do vector search. So let's go inside our storage browser. And inside blob container, let's put that into a document. So, and we are going to upload our files. So all files are present here. So, so let's go back to our Azure AI search. And Azure AI search, we have created basic one, basic or premium, because a lot of feature is not supported into free tier. So let's go for import and vectorize data, which is a integrated wizard provided by Azure. Let's select this. And now we can see that. So we have all this and then we can select our where we have stored. So let's select Contoso container which we created and we can select the folder but we have not created any folder so that should be okay. So if you wanted to track any deletion of file and updation so you can enable that one. And for security reason, if you wanted to use in this code or anything in production, you must go for a managed identity. For demo purpose, I am going to use key only. Now it is going to ask about our open AI service and what mod model is there. So if you see, we have embedding models here. And in previous video, we created that one. If you have not seen that one, then you can go and see. And this is where our resource is there because this is the same reason. So let's go and double check that. And if you go into our deployments, right? So we have an embedding model deployed. Just refer previous video for that, how to deploy that. And we can select this embedding models and we are going for API key. We are not going for managed identity, but that is most secure right now. We should go for that always whenever we want to move this code into production or any other things, right? So, so right now we are not doing a vectorization of image. We will go for next. And we want to enable semantic ranker also with this one that will give highly accurate fields and we are not going to schedule right now. So right now we can see that what index field is being generated and this is default index field and where we can say that vector content will go into text under as for vector and all the default uh, normal content will go in title. So we will see how it looks like later. So, and we are not going to schedule right now. We can do that every hour, every day, depending upon our need. So every time any file is being uploaded, it will go and keep updating Azure AI search. That's what we have to do into when we go to production and other things. For demo, I'm going to do only once. And we can give a name for that indexer. So let's put the same name uh, and we can go and create that. 
So it is going to create the data source. It is going to create index, indexers, all this, and it is going to run that. So object created, let's go for searching piece. And before that one, let's see that inside our indexers and indexes, it might have deleted that indexer, but we can see this is nine succeeded and six document it pulled from that one. The last one was from earlier demo. So we can go for index and we can see this is the index name. Right now document count is zero. It does take some time to appear here. So we will wait for some time. And also, if we go into data source section, we can see the data source will be there. This is the data source for Azure blog and table and collection name is container name is control. So let's go to a skill set. It might have created a couple of skill sets. So let's go and see that skill set. So it is going to use the text split because your document can have a lot of data, right? So it has to fit into that index. So if we go and see that all this, it is doing in pagination, is doing embeddings generation of that. And it is using that our embedding model. So if we go inside index, so let's go and inside index. And right now, if you see, we had five document, but document count here is 147. That means split has happened. And if we go for field index, right? And if you see this vector field, another field, it has a dimension. So 1536 is the default dimension. So that's how it is going to do chunking. So it is going to split all the documents in different chunks and store that one. And also we can see that semantic ranker will be created based on title in chunk keyword. We can add keywords also later if we wanted to do and vector profile also created. And if we go and see the vector profile, it is going to use that algorithm name and uh, this kind of HNSW algorithm and that uh, details it is going to use. And the similarity matrix, it is going to use cosine similarity. So that all we can see, it default, it created. We can go and if we try to search right now, show me health plans right that has health plan related documents so if we see more details that gives the search answer for north wine heaven plan and other things and also it is using semantic query type is semantic right we wanted to use vector um, query so vector queries also if you see this is going to pull on that one and all the details is going to come and if you see this is the title but this is the vector field which is a multi-dimensional array of integers and logs, right? So that is how it vectorization works. So it is going to convert in their format, different format and store that one. So if we see into JSON one, JSON view, if we see vector query we have passed and all this vector query, what type of query it is going to use, semantic query type and other we have passed, we can pass more details to see how it looks like, right? Let me see that. So I'm going to change this one and I'm going to say that give me only chunk ID, parent ID, the parent ID of record and chunk title, chunk and title four field and query will be kind of text, but field will be vector, all the details. Let's see that our text is text under the score vector. So we are going to run based on that one. So it is going to give that details about title and other things. It is coming from employee handbook. It is coming from benefit options handbook and other things it is coming, right? Change that in this text right now, we have put that star, right? We can say which plan has lowest detectable, right? That's one of the good thing we wanted to know about all the different plans so that we can choose. So it is gives that based on detectable that how much detectable is there and other thing in which plan. And it pulls from health plan uh, plus and also it pull, pull from a standard benefit plans and other things and gives the details. So this is how it looks like when we do that vector searching and embedding of any data using text embedding models. Now, once we know that how it is going to work, we can go and connect this with our Azure Open AI also, right? So we have Open AI uh, where we can go and see that we have created Turbo GPT-4 and other things. Let's see that how we can connect this data into our chat playground and how we can play with that, right? So let's, I'm not going to use the GPT vision one. I'm going to use Turbo one. So let's, let me see. And then I'm going to add your data and add a data source. 
let me bring this data source to Azure AI search. And uh, this is um, AE search, Australia search, right? Australia is search, that is the, our um, name. And we can go for which index. So we are going to use vector index. And I'm going to use that vector search. And we have this embedding models we created, right? And let's go next. And which semantic model we wanted to do hybrid one, not vector. So I'm not hybrid me in terms of vector plus keyword. This is the better one, a hybrid plus semantic one. So I'm going to use the N semantic configuration, which we have seen that I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use API key. And let's click on the next. Now we can go and ask the question based on similar understanding, like so many all plans for Composo company, right? it went ahead connected with that Azure AI search instance, it bring all the data. And if you see, this is the three reference citation, it has bring that one benefit from option things. And the second one that health plan and the third one is that standard plan, right? I can ask the same question from here, which I asked that which plan had uh, lowest detectable. So let's go and ask that one. So now it is going to figure it out that okay which plan is has detectable and that it is going to use citation and other things giving this and this one has more document right let me see another one which plan supports vision intended because that is one of the big thing we do right Now it says that, okay, this is the plan supports vision and dental. So we can see that details. So that is how we are going to enhance our search results, enhance our bot insert using vectorized. And this is what I wanted to show you in this demo. If you like this video, then please share this video with your colleague and friends and provide some comment. Also, if you wanted to um, share on the LinkedIn, that will greatly help us to reach to multiple people. So we will appreciate your help. Thank you very much.